As you know by now, I love lasers. And so does my cat, Tux. So I picked up a red, purple, and green laser pointer and started by disassembling each laser pointer until I got down to the precious laser diodes and driver boards. Now, if you don't want to go through all the trouble of disassembling the laser pointers, you can buy the diodes, drivers, and the rest of the parts for this project at kipk.com forward slash wicked lasers. I also scrounged through my parts bin and found three small pager motors. Now, you can find these in old cell phones and even vibrating shavers and other devices. And I'm also using three small mirrors. Now, we'll also be using three potentiometers to control the speed of the pager motors. Now, I had to come up with something to mount everything on, and what better choice than Legos? Oh, and of course, we will need a flashlight, so I'm using a standard 6-volt lantern flashlight. It's got a nice push button that we'll use to turn everything on. All right, well, it's time to get to work, so we'll mix up some epoxy, and please, plenty of ventilation, or you won't be able to finish this project. Glue those mirrors onto the pager motors and try to get them as centered as possible. Let them dry and then epoxy those pager motors to a four-square Lego. And we'll also epoxy each laser module to more four-square Legos. I used a piece of plastic from an old VHS tape case and started aligning the mirrors and lasers. You may need to use a single-layer Lego brick in order to get everything to line up. After the lasers and mirrors are lined up, you'll need to epoxy them all in place. We'll add a resistor to each of the potentiometers, and everything will be wired up according to this schematic, which you can find on kipk.com. Our potentiometers are installed in our flashlight, and now we're ready to finish it up by putting our assembly inside the flashlight. Since everything is powered by two 9-volt batteries, we'll be using an LM317 to lower the voltage going to our laser diodes. We'll wire up the connections to our existing switch, add our 9-volt batteries, and it's time to reinstall the cover. After removing the reflector, we'll leave the clear plastic piece in place. You get a very cool three-color laser show. By varying the speed of each individual motor, you get a virtually infinite number of crazy designs. And you can take it one step further by adding on-off switches for each individual laser. And there you have it, the world's first amazing laser show flashlight.